Hello, Taikaho. This is Christina again, and today I'll be introducing you guys the ROG Strix G17 laptop and the ROG RGB microwave. No, I can't want to say but if ROG, you're watching this, I'm really waiting for your RGB microwave. Jokes aside, this is the ROG Strix Scar 17 gaming laptop, which was announced at CES earlier this year along with the G17. Now, you guys must be wondering why the boxes is so particularly. Big, which is why I'll be doing you guys a favor to unbox and do a quick overview for both the G17 and the Scar 17. Without further ado, let's go! How are we doing an effect here? Like, let's go! Edit. Editor, go! And now I'm going to be unboxing the RG Strix G17. So the packaging for this is actually quite simple. Yes, it is simple. You'll get the laptop itself the laptop itself and this year's ROG backpack and for this year's ROG backpack they have like this holographic design on the front which is more obvious under certain kind of lighting and on the side you'll have two pockets here and here and on the back you'll have a quick access zipper to the laptop compartment now on to the SCAR 17 editor I'm going to unbox the SCAR 70. Okay, we are. Technical problem here. You have the laptop in the box, of course. RG backpack. And we also have an extra perk in the box, which is the RG Delta Cloud Deck Gaming Headset. We reviewed this before and it's a really good headset. And I'll leave a link in the description box if you want to know more about this. As you can see, Maybe you cannot see, but I don't know about you. But this doesn't come in the standard retail packaging. It's just black and white. But in the package itself, you'll find everything... <laughs> is this a JPEG? <laughs> everything... What I want to say is that uh, you buy the retail one and inside the, this one is the same one. But I don't know the formal English call what, but it's the same one, okay? This one just black and white. Now for the G17, the inside of the box is relatively straightforward. We have the laptop itself. A free ROG Impact mouse, 240 watt chargers, and the standard paperwork. And now let's get our hands on the SCAR 17. So, the contents inside the SCAR 17 is actually pretty similar with the G17, but with a few extra stuff. The laptop charger, they upgraded the free mouse this time, so instead of ROG Impact, you will be getting the ROG Chakram Core. You have the breastplate. <laughs> <laughs> Armor caps for your laptops And if you don't like this, you can just 3D print for yourself And in fact, RG has designed one specially for me And I'll just pop up on the screen here Nice there Next, we have the paperwork in here The ROG Keystone 2 It comes in a keychain design So you can hook it on your wallet or your bag or wherever you like not bad, right? But anyway, I really like this design and I uh, will talk about this a lot more later. <laughs> Keystone mode. With everything else out of the way, it's finally time for the laptop themselves. This year's Street Series laptops are packed with the latest gen hardware, including the Ryzen 5000 series processors and Nvidia GeForce RTX 30 series graphics card. However, let's start with the designs first. On both, you'll see that ROG's signature asymmetrical slash design has returned. And on the G17, you'll see that there's ROG monogram all over the laptop lid, which is really subtle and nice. Whereas on the SCAR 17, it has been laser etched with these tiny dots to look like the backdrop of city lights at night. And if you look at it at a certain angle, you'll see that the ROG logo will pop out on. Nice, right? And on the hinge here, you will find the removable armor caps which you see in the SCAR 17 box just now. So to remove this, just give it a soft pull and the magnet will release. And then just pick the one that you like and pop it back on. And at the edges of both laptops, you'll find an RGB light strip here. And on the SCAR 17, You'll find an additional light strip just underneath the lid here. 
As for port selection, it is identical on both the G17 and the SCAR17. All the ports are located on the back and on the left hand side, along with some vents. I love that the new chassis doesn't have any parts on the right hand side so that there won't be anything sticking out to catch out my mouse hand. And also, both these laptops support 100W USB-C charging but you won't be able to find one included in either of the package so you need to zizi mai lah. So, one difference between these two laptops is that the SCAR17 have a slot for the Keystone 2 while the G17 don't have this feature lah. And as we recall that we see that previously, this is the Keystone 2. This is ROG's own NFC device, which can store your hardware profiles and commands, and it even have a shadow drive, which is hidden and encrypted so you can save all your Japanese homework safely. On the bottom, you'll find nice thick rubber feet and tons of little design details. Both of them are nearly the same, except for some slight color differences. Usually, the bottom of laptops aren't exactly nice to look at but you know lah, ROG is super extra when it comes to aesthetics. And I'm glad because who doesn't love a pretty looking machine? Moving on next, the display. The laptop is super stable, so you can easily open the lid with just one hand. We have the same hexagonal power button here, but there are no fingerprint sensors on this. The display is a 17.3 inch IPS level panel with adaptive sync. These units come with a FHD resolution and a super fast 300Hz refresh rate with 3 millisecond response time. So, if you are a hardcore or competitive gamer, this is great. Even if you want to do some like creative work or content creation, the 300 nit display has pretty decent color accuracy as well. As expected, the bezels are ultra slim, which looks great. But unfortunately, ROG has skipped the webcam yet again, which is pretty unfortunate since online meetings from home are getting more common these days. Okay, now let's talk about the keyboard. But before that, let us take a moment to appreciate the keyboard deck. The diagonal slash design is back, but this time ROG has introduced a new design element for both laptops. On the G17, you'll find the same ROG monogram that you saw on the lid along the slash. While the Sky 17 boasts a translucent plastic texture instead, which looks like those retro Game Boys from last time. Both of them look quite futuristic. And coupled with the soft and smooth texture, it's just super nice to touch and look at. So, another point of difference between the G17 and the SCAR17 is the keyboard. The G17 features your usual rubber dome keys, which have a decent travel distance and enough tech 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 to feel good while typing. However, the SCAR17 has gone one step further and introduced opto mechanical keys in space. As expected, they are much more clickier and more tactile compared to the G17 rubber dots. But they feature the same travel distance, so they won't have the same tok 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 feeling as the regular desktop keyboard. While the tactility of the SCAR17 is very nice, but some may still prefer the G17's rubber domes because you know right in public ah, if you type very noisy ah. Second time in the video. The touchpad on both are even bigger now! They are both nice and smooth and does their job well. As for the audio, I'm going to play you a sample now. Both of the laptops use Dolby Atmos software with Smart M speakers, and they are both decent for laptop speakers. But if you are planning to play games, I would recommend you to get a headset when the fans ramp up. Lucky you, if you are planning to get the SCAR17, they have already included one in the package. But if you are planning to get the G17, and that's it! For our unboxing and quick overview for the ROG Street SCAR17 and the G17, and as you might have observed, 
there are a lot of similarities between these two models. But beyond minor aesthetic differences, the SCAR 17 does pack some extra features such as a keystone 2, an optomechanical keyboard, swappable armor caps, additional RGB under the lid, and of course, stronger specs. I'll list the specs and prices of these two particular configurations on the screen right now. Do note that there are more options available with different price points as well. If you want to find out more on how each of these two units perform, then head on over to the written reviews in the links below. I hope you guys find this video helpful. This is Christina signing off and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye! And here comes the surprise. I'll lift this first. You have the... breastplate. <laughs> ROG laptop breastplate. <laughs> what is it called? I'm okay. <laughs> if you don't like, you can 3D print your own breastplate. Put stick on the breast of your laptop. <laughs> okay, you can cut already. I'm so tired. <laughs>